Hey guys, welcome to the Leah Noel Design Co. Facebook page. I am Leah. I'm gonna show you guys how to shade today. We are going to shade with red. We're gonna shade with Honky Tonk Red. Um, I started painting and I started doing a little shading and I didn't clean my brush. So I'm telling you that because if you could see my brush here, it's dyed red, but it's still very um, supple. Is that the right word? Soft. And it, so, so you can kind of see how little of paint I use. I, I put a base coat of terracotta on here and I, I did um, I did three blended coats on here. No, I did two blended coats. I only did two blended coats, but three coats total. So then this color that you can see is Florida orange blended with Colonel Mustard and we're gonna go in with Honky Tonk Red and just kinda give this piece a little more, um, a little more light. I'm gonna go ahead and just dip my paint really lightly in, in the paint. And I'm gonna really show you guys about how much paint I put on, because that's kind of important. So you can see there's very little paint. And then I'm gonna come over here to my drop cloth, and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna like brush it on my drop cloth, and I'm gonna wipe most of it off, and it's gonna look like I didn't put anything on it. And then we're gonna come over here to this, and we're gonna start our shading. Now a lot of times I like to pull my drawers out, but I'm just gonna kinda start here. So. I wanna knock more paint off my brush. I want very little paint on my brush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start with my keyhole because there's a lot of texture there. And I'm gonna start with my edges because there's a lot of, like there, the edge is a good place to just like wipe paint off with and I want it heavier on my edge. Start with my keyhole and I'm just gonna kind of lightly go over it. Um, and this also lets me assess like how much paint I have on my brush. So now I'm gonna come in over here Maybe I need a little more paint on my brush. So I'm just gonna dip it again, and I'm gonna show you guys again about how much I have on here. Okay, that much paint. I'm gonna wipe it on my drop cloth, and I have very little paint. There's a lot more paint on here than you think. I'm gonna wipe it one more time. And I'm gonna come in, and you're gonna kinda see what I mean. So I'm gonna, just go on my edges here and just dry brush. I would much rather have to keep dipping and um, putting it on than get a big glob of paint right here. I can wipe it off, but it just is easier to add more paint than to take it off. it's just like a swiping motion like this. I do a little bit of circles maybe in here, just in these corners. But I just really wanna highlight this. And we're gonna go in with a little more paint once again. Wipe it off. So a little tip for you guys when you're blending. Um, when I was blending this, it was not perfectly, like, in my head it wasn't perfect, but can you tell? Basically all you're trying to do when you're blending is just create a little bit of shadowing where you have a little bit of like color play. So where this was not blended even and perfect, would you ever know it? You would never know it. I mean, I hope you would say you would never know. <laughs> Maybe I'm crazy, but you would never know that this wasn't a perfect blend. And the third color brought in really makes it um, even harder to tell, or it, it just makes it more, I think it makes it more unique. I don't, I don't love a perfect blend. I like my blend just a little bit more like where you could see a little bit of lightness in the center, coming out to a little bit of darkness, and then that third color just grabs your eye and it's what makes it pop. going like in a triangle and then coming down here. And we're gonna go ahead and just get a little bit more paint on our brush. Okay, I dipped it way too much. Way too much paint, but we're just gonna wipe it right back off. Down here, I'm just gonna kinda hit my edges with red. Now, okay, right in here, you see where I'm putting my finger? I painted the inside of this with the Colonel Mustard and the outside is the Florida Orange. And then here, I just did like a strip of Colonel Mustard and Florida Orange. 
which I did link, um, I did put my link above where you can order this, these paint colors from. So I just wanna get these edges. And then right here, I'm just gonna hit this with red, the honky tonk red, just at the top. And I might get a little more. I'm actually grabbing a little bit from my cloth here. And then I'm gonna get just a little on these, um, these rounded edges and that's it. Just our little spots right here. Thank you guys for joining. I will pop back in um, with another project very soon. All right, everybody, I hope you guys have an awesome Thursday and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.